Good morning, everybody. Um, I had a dream last night, and it was, I don't remember exactly all of it, but I was with a friend, um, a trusted friend, and somebody had done something to us to, um, it, to not just get us mad, but it was something, it, they did something to the both of us that um we didn't like and it disrupted um our lives it was something pretty serious that we wanted to make sure that they they paid for um that they got not that we didn't get revenge but that um we we wanted to make sure that they knew they did wrong um and so we went to this person's house and we went into a room and um, my friend, she said, here, grab my hands. So um, I grabbed her hands and she started doing this thing. Um, and then I saw on her palms was um, Satan, the Satan star, I forgot what it's called, but um, the star upside down with a circle around it. And um, I'm like, hold on, that's witchcraft. And she's like, no, no, no. And she grabs my hand. She's like, just trust me. And I was like, I knew in my spirit that, that I shouldn't trust what she's saying and that what we we're doing was wrong. And so I started kind of going along with it a little more. And then I realized now that I, that I just got myself into that. Um, if I don't stop now that I'm going to go down a very slippery slope. And so I yanked my hands away and I said, no, that's witchcraft. And I got on my knees and bald in repentance and my friend turned around and she's like fine I'll do it myself I'll do it on my own and I'm telling you and I was telling her you can't do that it's witchcraft and um she she went off and was doing this whole like like chanting or something some some type of in my mind I had a knowing that it was witchcraft um and so I I got on my knees and I repented because when I was started to um, do what she was doing with her hands, all of a sudden I started seeing on my palms that star showing up on my palm. And um, I was blowing it away. I had my hands and I was blowing it away and getting it off my hands um, and crying out to the Lord that um, just repenting, profusely repenting. And my hands started to be um clean again and um so I turn around and I'm trying to save my friend from her going down this um very dark road that she was going on and at by that time she was so far gone that she, her back was turned to me and she had her hands on the wall because now she was cursing the house that this kid um lived in and I I grabbed her. She was had she had her hands on the wall. She was cursing the wall. So I knew that I had to also lay my hands on the wall, uh, not on the wall but on her. And she turned around. I laid my hands on her and I started praying over her and she whipped around and it wasn't her anymore. And it was a uh, the manifestation of the the demonic forces that were at play at the time. And she was this raging and angry and um now she had it wasn't her voice anymore it was a demonic voice and um she shoved me backwards and grabbed me by the um by the whatever I was wearing and got me on my back and I'm on my back and I put my hands on her because I was casting out the demon and I could barely speak now at this point because of the just the force that was on top of me and um I don't remember but I what I said because I could barely speak it but then I woke up to my voice because I actually said this out loud I said Jesus and as soon as I said Jesus I woke up because I was getting to the point in the dream where um it was getting a little a little scary honestly um, and I needed Jesus. I knew I needed to say the name of Jesus because that was the only thing that was going to save me. And, um, 
I think the whole point in the dream, it's kind of self-explanatory. The only thing that's going to save us is the name of Jesus. And the part with the, um, the witchcraft and the, hey, let's do this. And then you, you're kind of going into it, not understanding, not having the discernment enough to know that what you're doing is um, not of God and is going to get you in a whole lot of trouble. And um, that it was like a normal thing in my dream. It was like, well, everybody does this. We need to do it too. So I think that just speaks to um, not anything in particular, but we have the deception that's going on right now, especially for the Christians is so immense. I've been, I've been having spiritual attacks this whole weekend and I, I didn't see it coming. And all of a sudden it was on me and I'm like, where did that come from? Where are these thoughts coming from? They came out of nowhere. So the, it, it all represents, you have to put your armor on every single day. Every time you wake up in the morning before you hit feet, hit the floor, put that armor on. Um, and the Lord told me to go to Hebrews 12. So I'm going to read um, Hebrews 12, 1 through 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, who by faith have testified to the truth of God's absolute faithfulness, stripping off every unnecessary weight and the sin which so easily and clearly entangles us, let us run with endurance and active persistence the race that is set before us. So in the dream, instead of me running out of the house, I actively persisted on on fighting this evil demonic thing that was trying to um, get me to go along with it. Well, my friend, who I believe was also a believer and chose um, not to listen to me, she kind of left the race and um, for me getting up and and putting my hands on her I'm still running that race I'm still actively enduring um the, the whole the whole race that we call that we call um life with the Lord you know so looking this is verse two looking away from all the will distract from all that will distract us focusing our eyes on Jesus who is the author and perfecter of our faith the first incentive for our belief and the one who brings our faith to maturity, who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross, dis disregarding the shame and sat down on the right hand of the throne of God, revealing his deity, his authority and the completion of his work. Just consider and meditate on him who endured from sinners such bitter hostility against himself. Consider it all in comparison with your trials so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Anything we go through is nothing, nothing compared to what we could have gone through. But Jesus took what we could have gone through and took it on for himself so that we don't have to go through it. But know that what we are going to go through isn't nearly, nearly in comparison to what he went through for us. Um, but there was one thing I wanted to talk on um so focusing our eyes on Jesus so instead of going along with what she was doing and focusing on this guy um ruined my name ruined um whatever he whatever this guy did to us I wasn't focusing on revenge I had lost sight by following my friend over there because I shouldn't have been over there in the first place. It's not my, it's not my job to get revenge it, that, that you need to give that to God. But I was over there and, um, and then I, so I lost, I lost track. And then when she was holding my hand, then I remembered, hold on a minute. This is not my fight to fight. Um, this is God's fight to fight and, and losing sight of the race we're trying to run. If we're not keeping our eyes focused ahead, when we're looking right and left, then we kind of fall off the cliff. Sometimes she fell off the cliff. I kind of stumbled and found myself back up, but there was consequences for that. And, um, if you read farther down, um, chapter 12, 
it talks about just like just like a father a good father will discipline his son how much more is our heavenly father going to love us enough to discipline us and when he gave me that that feeling of um oh no what did i just do that is a gift even though it's an awful feeling what if you didn't have that feeling what if you didn't have the feeling of of um regret and shame after you you repent and you ask for forgiveness that shame is gone he takes that shame he doesn't give you shame satan gives you shame but we have to remember all those feelings that the lord made us with is a good thing and we need to listen to those so um anyway i hope everybody's doing well and i hope this dream um speaks to you i know that when i cried out the name of jesus i felt the holy spirit come on me i mean even just now like the name of jesus is so strong the name just in his name and i just can't imagine i can't imagine i want to imagine but i can't fully imagine how it's going to be when we are actually with him face to face and we can touch him and um yeah so um let the lord speak to you today